so this must have been when I was about, oof, I guess about 12 or so. Mm -hmm. And um, my father had actually left my family. And so I was on a trip to visit him. And it was really exciting because, you know, getting to visit dad, you know, I was like, ooh, this, is, this will be fun. There's always something interesting that's going to happen. And one night he said, let's try an experiment. I was like, oh, okay, great. And he put something in my hand. It was all wrapped up. He put something in my hand. And he said, I want you to describe what this object is. I know you don't know what it is, but I want you to describe what it is anyway. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath, just get in tune and tell me what you get from this object. So I thought, okay, I can do this. I'm 12 years old, I can do this. <laughs> and what came to me was, wow, there, there's something about there's something about a woman in this object. So I said, okay, well, it has something to do with a woman. Um, and I, you know, of course, you could, I could feel my mind trying to create something, right? And I was just trying to just breathe, just let it speak to me, let it speak to me. And then it kind of changed, and I felt this feeling of um, battle. There was a big fight going on. You know, it made no sense to me at all, but I just blurted it out. And I said, and, and there's something about a, a really big fight. And I said, and it's really, really old. And he said, okay. And he took it out and I thought, oh, this is, this is just crazy. He took it, he unwrapped it. It turns out it was a coin that had a woman on the coin. And the coin was Helen of Troy. That's what was on the coin, was Helen of Troy. So here is old, here is a battle, and here is a woman. And so I, I got it from that. That's so cool. So what what <laughs> father was using on you is um, an exercise that Jose Silva does on day one of the Silva program. Oh. In day one, after eight hours of mental programming, what um, what Jose Silva does is that he teaches you a technique called psychometry. And he teaches you that you can get into this altered state of mind willingly. Uh, it's called the, the theta level of mind. You can hold an object from another participant in the class wrapped in paper and sense things about the object. And when you get the hit, okay, you don't always get it right, but when you get it right, it restructures your belief system and it starts leading to, mm. to more and more instances of waking psychic ability. Mm. Um, and this is how Silva people become highly, highly, highly intuitive. I mean, I built a hundred million dollar company. I'm a Silva graduate and I did mm. it with no investors because there was always this intuition guiding me. Mm. Um, and um, um, that's why it's yeah. so powerful. And as mm. your dad said in, in Harper's Bazaar, when they interviewed him, you know, he was stuck, he was blocked writing Jonathan Livingston Seagull, one of the greatest books of our, of, of our generation. Uh, that that final chapter came to him after the Silva class because the intuition unlocked something. 